welcome friends i am tanmay today we are going to discuss few special borohydrate reagents and their property as well as application i am currently doing my phd at indian institute of science education research at kolkata and if you like my videos please like my channel chemistry the mystery of molecules and this is a series of borohydrates so i would suggest you to see all the videos then you will be able to understand the topic properly so let's start so today our topic is mainly we will focus on three borohydrate that is lithium triethyl borohydrate sodium cyanoborohydrate and sodium tri acetyl borohydrate this actually the main reason for choosing this borohydrate reagent is one important point is that this is highly reactive borohydrate this is less reactive borohydrate this is more this is also less reactive borohydrate compared to sodium borohydrate okay so we can initially say this is more reactive than nabh4 this is more reactive than nacnbh3 and this is more reacting than nacbh so this is the question could be given in mcq for example they can give you four this borohydrates and they can give four options according to their reactivity so i guess you can remember after this understanding so right before going to the property we will discuss little bit about their preparation how they are prepared i am prepare i am putting it in tabular form because i think it may help you to keep in mind so how it prepared actually you can consider this is a lithium hydride or triethyl borane so actually that is its preparation procedure lithium hydride plus triethyl borane what happens this is the delta negative this is a negative charge hydride i told that lithium hydride is lowest molecular weight ionic compound this contains hydride and this is a six electron species so this attacks here forms a triethyl boron hydride minus and lithium plus and this is exactly the uh, uh, composition of this actually it's a ionic compound consisting of lithium plus cation and triethyl borohydride anion how this is prepared this could be prepared in a little different way for example this nabh4 plus hcn what happens nabh4 contains four hydride which is delta negative and hcn contains hydrogen as delta positive and what happens during the reaction hydrogen gas comes out because one hydride from here and one a proton h plus from this reacts to each other releases hydrogen and what the material left is sodium cyanoborohydride how this thing prepared this thing prepared similarly like this in from sodium borohydride plus acetic acid this is delta positive this is delta negative similar reason but here the reaction happens to Large, a somewhat higher extent. For example, one hydride from this borohydride is replaced by cyanide to produce this reagent. But here, three hydride is replaced and uh, left on uh, about only one hydride. So here, three hydrogen gas comes out. It must be three. So this is the main preparation procedure of three reagent. So I guess. you can remember it easily if you understand in this tabular form and the logic so we'll explain about the properties of three reagent for example initially i told that this hydride is highly reactive because this three ethyl group pushes the electron to this boron center and actually if you see the periodic table boron carbon nitrogen 
so boron is more electron deficient electro positive compared to carbon so here carbon will be negative and this negative charge pushes its electron density towards boron this is the main reason or main way of contribution for this ethyl group this pushes its electron to boron as boron is electron deficient and we know that this hydride in case of boron hydride bond boron is delta positive and hydride is delta negative so these are pushing and which results this pushing of electron to this boron will result more negative charge concentration on hydride and since the separation of charge is large extent so reactivity will be more so it reacts violently with water this is so if we consider this cyano this cyano is an electron withdrawing group so it pulls the electron density from this boron atom ultimately this boron hydrogen bond became less electron rich means this hydride is less electron rich so that's why its reactivity is lesser and it is somewhat little stable in water this is also the same thing happens because when we are considering bh then we first we should draw the structure o m less two are also same that's why i am not drawing so i always previously said that boron oxygen bond are very strong because of back bonding or multiple bond character but here boron is four coordinated so back bonding is not possible here but oxygen is more electronegative compared to boron so it will pull the electron density towards itself and that's why the electron density on this uh, hydrogen will be less so it is less polar compared to simple sodium borohydride because there are four hydrogens are replaced four are hydrogen so no negative or withdrawing effect absent so ultimately it is more electron rich compared to this that's why this tri uh, acid tri acetyl borohydride is less reactive than sodium borohydride itself but this reagent is not that much more water stable like this so we can say moderately stable in water okay okay now we will discuss about their property since i am saying that they are very this lithium is very reactive so its property should be unique and that reactivity should be should could not be achieved by sodium borohydride one of the example is the reduction of isoquinoline into tetrahydroisoquinoline this is the structure of isoquinoline when one nitrogen is present and this is reduced in terms of this reagent to form its tetrahydro derivative tetrahydro means these two double bonds are reduced and four hydrogen has attached that's why it is called tetrahydro isoquinoline so this is the structure and this due to this unique reactivity keep in this thing in mind this reagent is called super hydride keep this name in mind because question can come that instead of that final formula they can say this reagent could be done in presence of superhydride then you should keep in mind superhydride means this lithium triethyl borohydride okay so this is the example of this reduction of the sodium uh, lithium um, triethyl borohydride or superhydride but here there is a similarity these reagents are very less reactive compared to sodium borohydride itself so sodium borohydride uh, the reaction which sodium borohydride can do they can do that much easily for example this reduction of carbonyl compounds for example uh, ketones both of them can't do efficiently and this is even further one step less reactive compared to this so what is their uh, use actually when there is a limited reactivity which indicates that more selectivity so less reactivity indicate more selectivity and more selectivity means selectively we can reduce a particular product for example reductive amination what does it mean this reductive amination means this first of this amine form uh, in uh, imine formation first step 
and second step reduction of this imine into amine. So this is the reaction they can do. The thing is that the imine formed from aldehyde as well as ketone, aldehyde as well as ketone, both can perform here but only aldehyde uh, imines are reduced by this very efficient, efficiently because aldehydes are more uh, easy to attack compared to this. And before going to uh, these details, I want to give a brief introduction about Bargidunic trajectory. What that? It means the reduction of carbonyl compound. Then only it will be easier for you to understand why aldehyde is more reactive compared to the ketone. So let's explain. Here this carbonyl group is attached to two group. For example, R1 and R2. And let's consider R1 and R2 both are alkyl. So what happens? This is a bulky. This is a bulky. And if we consider this molecule is in this plane, so there is one electron pair of this also. And above this plane, above this plane, this is the pi cloud. This is the pi cloud of the homo of this C double bond though. Actually because this is formed between the overlap of two p orbitals. So here this, uh, here this bonding orbital and how the anti-bonding orbital looks like this side. Anti-bonding remains this side. Anti-bonding orbital looks like this. So reaction will happen on the anti-bonding orbital. And if we consider the molecular orbital theory, I am giving a brief explanation. Means, if we draw the molecular orbital theory energy diagram, then carbon is carbon's molecular orbital, carbon's atomic orbital in, is in higher in energy, and oxygen's atomic orbital is in lower in energy. For example, let's consider this pi 1 formation. This is pz as well as this is pz, one electron from each. So, when this bond is formed, one is bonding orbital which is paired, another is antibonding orbital which is actually vacant. This is called pi and this is called pi star. Okay, so due to this bonding, they become stable because overall electronic energy goes down and the contribution, for example, this pi orbital is closer to oxygen, so the contribution in this molecular orbital of the means pi orbital, the contribution of this oxygen is more here and similarly contribution on this carbonyl, uh, on this pi star orbital, carbon has more contribution on this pi star orbital. So attack will happen from this side. And another thing, if we simply draw the Lewis dot structure of this carbonyl, we know it has a resonance. Resonance means that this bond can go here and in this way it could be a minus, it could be a plus. So this center is electrophilic and this center is nucleophilic. Actually this is the explanation of a phenomena that nucleophile attacks carbonyl group from two sides. One is from molecular orbital theory and another is from one is from molecular orbital theory and another explanation is from Lewis dot structure or resonance theory. Okay, then we understood about the attack. That attack will happen on this side. But this side, if we consider attack is happening from this plane, then this group will uh, create the steric hindrance or if we consider this, then this group will create steric hindrance. Then what is the optimum condition? Please keep in mind that word optimum condition. Means where the attack could face the minimum interaction. For example, if it try to attack from the above the plane, then this electron will repel, this electron cloud will repel the nucleophile because nucleophile is also electron rich species. And if it tries from the bottom, then it will repel. So it need to come from a optimum situation, then that is, that optimum situation is 107 degree. For example, let's consider this part. Actually, this is the oxygen, this is the carbonyl carbon and this is the two um, alkyl group. So, we can see that if it comes from this side, it will face interaction, this side interaction, above this a cloud of electron or this um, pi bond, so it can't come from above. So, what happens? These, these nucleophiles come in this way. 
follow in this way to attack means in this way and this angle is around 107 degree and this thing is called Bargidumi's Bargi trajectory. Okay, so now we will focus mainly on reductive amination means the conversion of this aldehyde into amine and this could this is done in presence of this and this this is for aldehyde and this is for both aldehyde and ketone so for this purpose we have to first understand the amination of this uh, carbonyl into imine how this reaction happens for example let's take acetone and let's react this with methyl amine so this reaction needs slight amount of acid why? Because this acid first reacts with the lone pair of carbonyl to produce first this OH plus. Okay. Since uh, it attached to oxygen, then the formal charge will remain on the oxygen, and this have a canonical form. Canonical form means plus charge will be on carbon, and this part is neutral. So from this you can understand the contribution of this form into the overall canonical structure is more as the positive charge is residing on the carbon center. Okay. So now nucleophile will attack here and here the nucleophile is methyl amine. Okay. So it will attack using its lone pair here. So what will happen? This is and NH2 plus and methyl group. Okay. So, since this is a little bit acidic medium, so acid can protonate this hydroxyl group also. So, if it protonates, then what will be the consequence? Now it is plus and it do not have that much stability like this previous one because this is a sp3 carbon right now and it could leave leave and result into the formation of okay in between I forget to mention one thing that this is always in positive charge but it can release its proton to become a neutral amine moiety. Actually this protonation deprotonation is an equilibrium reaction so it will proceed. So it will result into this and water. Now one question can come why water leaves? Because here the leaving group is in neutral molecule but when it was in OH it will not want to leave because it will be a charged species means from a molecule from a neutral from a neutral group one charged group is produced which is energetically not favorable that much but here from a charged species a neutral living group is forming second it from charged species this neutral is leaving but it, it is keeping charge here also so it need to be stabilized how it stabilized this is stabilized by the conjugation with the nitrogen lone pair which will ultimately result in this. It is true that here nitrogen is carrying the positive charge but consider this is a 6 electron species this carbon center and here due to this conjugation this is an 8 this is 8 all are 8. So this is relatively more stable compared to this. Generally, we say that positive charge should be better or more comfortable on carbon center. But here, everybody is getting his octet fill up. So, that stabilization overcomes and consequently, it prefers to remain in this condition. So, ultimately, I told that this proton addition and elimination, it's a reversible process. So, proton can eliminate to form this material. So, what we wanted, imine it could be generated in this way. So I guess you have understood 
this formation of imine. Actually, it is necessary to understand the next step. Okay. Okay. So up to this study, we have understood that this imenium cation leaves a proton to form this neutral imine moiety. And in another direction, since it's a reversible type reaction, so it can add with a uh, proton to form this imenium cation. Now, right now, if we compare, if we compare three molecules, for example, molecule one, molecule two, and molecule three, which is our initial carbonyl compound, which is more electron deficient or more electro, uh, more electrophilic. See, this is oxygen. First, we compare with this two. This two are neutral molecules. This is oxygen, this is nitrogen. So definitely it is it has a little bit less electronegativity compared to oxygen. Its electronegativity around around 3.0 in Pauling scale and it is around 3.5. So definitely due to the polarity concept, this is more polar, means this is delta negative, this is also delta negative. But so for example, delta 1 negative. So delta is greater than delta 1. So this is more negative, this is more positive. This is little less negative, this is little less positive. So if we consider the electrophilicity, electron deficiency of this carbon, this is more activated. Okay. Now it is better compared to this. So let's compare with this and this. See, it is true that from nitrogen, oxygen is more electronegative, but when nitrogen became cationic because it is attached with an hydrogen and it became charged then its capability to hold the electron pair towards itself increases means it will drag this bond more compared to its previous one so an electronegativity when charge state changes of an atom its electronegativity changes which i have explained in my previous videos so here this is also more electrophilic compared to this second explanation for example if we compare this with its resonance structure that is this we say that contribution of this form to the overall electron distribution of this uh, molecule is less because it creates in charge separation and charge separation creates less stability in molecules but if we consider the resonance of this molecule then it looks like this charge separation here but here it is previously charged molecule so the charge separation issue will not come so here the positive charge is more comfortable compared to this. So contribution of this canonical form to the overall molecular electronic distribution, it is more contribute, it is more contributing compared to this. So this carbon center is more electron deficient. That's why means it is it is more hungry. So <coughs> food is not that much tasty, but it will react. Okay. Okay. Now this will react with the BH of cyanoborohydrate or triacetoxyborohydrate. I'll write in this fashion. Okay. How they what happened? This attacks to this center and this opens up. And ultimately it results a neutral molecule. This. Keep one thing in mind always. This attached hydride is coming from this borohydride. A tricky question could be given by replacing this hydride by a deuterium, means a deuterated reagent of this borohydride. So keep this thing in mind. Okay, this. And this is nothing but we can draw it in this way in H in. Okay, so these reagents are very efficient to convert carbonyl into this in presence of methyl amine. Another advantage. See, this is a primary amine. This is a secondary amine. So this could be strategy to convert primary amine with secondary amine having different substitution because this... Okay. So 
why we are using this specifically not sodium borohydride or lithium borohydride because formation of this imine could easily be achieved under aqueous condition or more specifically say slightly aqueous condition slightly acidic aqueous condition this is prepared so then it, it is re reacting under that slight acidic condition in presence of these two borohydride and producing this but if we want to use lithium aluminium hydride or nabh4 this is violently reacts with water and this is reacting with water slowly means this reagent will react with water second point so we and another thing in acid they are unstable even sodium borohydride lithium lithium element is extremely unstable sodium borohydride is also unstable in acid in base condition little bit stable but if we use base what will happen so let's consider first hypothetically we have prepared this cation and we put it in the base what will happen this base will abstract this proton and ultimately result in a neutral molecule and previously i have explained that this is less electrophilic compared to simple carbonic carbonyl group so less reactive so what is the positive point of using this sodium borohydride and sodium this sodium cyanoborohydride and this triacetyl borohydride one milder two less reactive less reactive and more selective three the unique property of this two reagent is slightly acid tolerant and aqueous medium tolerant means is stable in low acid around ph 3 to 4 it's stable and it's stable in aqueous medium also this is little less stable in aqueous but this is a remarkable reagent okay so this is the unique property of these two sodium cyanoborohydride and sodium triacetyl borohydride so i guess you have understood please read it in a tabular form and compare with sodium borohydride and keep the reactivity of this four borohydride in mind so thank you everyone for listening my video so let's see in the next day and if you like my videos please like comment share and subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule thank you